Hola, bienvenidos a un nuevo video. Hoy estamos a otro nuevo video de Flop 10 Season 2. Así que, eh. Estamos a continuar con la pena de mi juego. Espero que se les haya gustado. Chao. Es decir, comencemos. Lo habíamos dejado en el minijuego, si es que no nos la puerta. Is this really a tabletop version of our game? Yes, so I'll have to do the sound effects for you. Ha! I'm gonna get you, surfer dude! Oh, no! I gotta surf fast! You don't need to do the voices, dude. Okay, but I still have to do the sound effects. It's ambiance, Ben. Pew, bling. Pew. Pew. Budding. Jump, 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 jump. <sighs> Drop, 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 drop. Nom, 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 nom. Jump, 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 Bading. Jump, 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 Dom dom dom. Pew. 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 Drop, 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 drop. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. Jump, 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 jump. Whoosh, bling. Jump, 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 jump. Dom, dom, dom. Budding. 
Chop, chop, chop. Nom, 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 nom. Los 
Huh, okay. Why did you build this thing again? I'm testing ideas. I've built 17 prototypes so far. 17? How long have you been in here? Time is relative, Ben. Coffee dilates time. Everyone knows that. To me, it's felt like weeks. And did you know the patron saint of design has chosen me as the vessel through which to communicate? Dude, how much coffee did you drink? Oh, all of it. This is the best thing that's ever happened to this company, and I have the formula to prove it. 10 out of 10, here we come! But we must seize this moment. Let's do a company meeting. Uh, uh, a company meeting? We must rally the team. Meet me in the main dev pit in 0.7 seconds. What the? Over here, Ben. Move faster. Let's hustle. Now, I know you are all curious about why I called you here today. That meter has been stuck at 4 out of 10 for, like, ever. But that was before today. That was before coffee. Today, everything changes. Today, we make this a 10 out of 10 game. I've got a list of action items for you all. Ben, you're going to add a sewer level. Wait, what? No way. Sewer levels are mandatory, Ben. Any game above 8 out of 10 has a sewer level. It's a no-brainer. Joan, I need you to wrap our story with callbacks to Greek mythology. References to antiquity add street cred. Wow. But let's go further. Greece vanished for a reason. Why? Did their thirst for knowledge anger the old gods? Surfing with sharks is the perfect game to ask. Did Greece go too far? Um, you do know Greece is still around, right? No way. Ooh, I had my honeymoon there. Stop it, you two. This is serious. Timothy, you're on team morale. I'm sorry. I can't do that. Viper, I've got a special task for you. Yeah, I'm not gonna do whatever you're about to say, okay? Uh, you keep doing what you're doing. Everyone is terrified of you. Right. And Midge? Hey. Where's Midge? And where's Pylon? They went off to look for your computer. Ralph? Oh, I don't need that thing anymore. I've got a new Ralph now, and it has laid bare the secrets of game design to me. See? Hey, is that my projector? Who said you could go into the storage room? I needed to, Francine. I needed to get more coffee grounds. <gasps> you! It was you who took my coffee machine. His name is Ralph Two, and he's the patron saint of game design. Put it back! Ralph Two wants to be with me, Francine! He told me so! It's a coffee machine. And it has feelings. Now, you all have your tasks. Ralph Two and I are working on quantum superposition applications. We need to focus. Kevin, you bring back that coffee machine this instant. Kevin! Ugh. Pylon, we've been wandering around forever. Someone's gonna notice we've been away all morning. We're close to a clue, Midge. I can sense it. Or more accurately, I can smell it. What? A good detective knows when to use their nose. Take a deep whiff. What do you smell? I smell recycled air and old bricks. Anything else? I don't smell anything else. Well, my nose of intuition does. It detects the hint of circuit board and, hmm, dusty plastic. We're close. You can smell a computer? It's being masked by something. There's something buttery in the air, too. Let's find out what it is. A footprint stop. Maybe I can use my sense of smell to trap the thief. This is a therapist's office. Word, Midge. They came through here. This is, uh, the umbrella room? It's always been locked.
No time for sitting down. There's a thief to catch. This is a dentist's office. Behind this door is a massive old turbine. They couldn't get it out, so they just built a room around it. They keep it locked. They really need to update the lighting over here. I've uh, never even been over here before. trail ends here. This might be the coolest door I've ever seen in real life. It's pretty cool, I guess. We have to open it. What? Kevin! Give me back my copy machine! Man, every game I've worked on, every game, some fool wants to add a sore level. Every game! Can't we just leave him in there? So long as he's happy in there, he's not hurting anyone. Personally, I'm all for having a couple hours free from that guy. No, it's not his coffee machine. This is a matter of principle. Viper, go get your chainsaw. Hey, what makes you think I have a chainsaw? Uh, here. Look, I get it, okay? I'm a weapons guy, but I'm a discerning collector, and I feel really judged right now. Just get your damn bat instead. And do what? Bat the door to death? Francine, don't you have a key? Duh, I've tried that. He's barricaded it or something. Oh, you know, I have a bunch of nitroglycerin in my desk. Whoa, nitroglycerin? Like dynamite? Sweet. What? What the hell, Joan? Joan, I told you, you can't have that at the office. Or maybe anywhere. Well, I don't intend to keep it here. I just needed to move it. It's my good luck dynamite. Aw, oh, Joan, we can't detonate your good luck dynamite. No one is gonna detonate anything. What's wrong with you people? Hey, team, is everyone excited about their new tasks? Kevin? What? What are you doing out here? I just came out for snacks. All this work is making me famished. Dude, are you teleporting? Uh, not technically. Okay, that is too much coffee. Nonsense. Even as we speak, I'm solving a unified theory of game design. Once I have that algorithm, well, game development is a solved problem, really. We're only minutes away. He's leaving! Quick, grab him! Rawr! What the? You thought you could just grab me? Huh, <laughs> cute. Yeah, what was he thinking? We're barely stable on this plane of existence right now. Two Kevins? Oh, dear. This is like my worst nightmare. Worry not, friends. There's still only one of us. Right, Kevin? Right, Kevin? We're just a big old cloud of probability. We're everywhere at once and nowhere. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. And so do I. Don't forget about me, guys. I got the snacks. Huh. And to think, I hated one of that guy. We gotta get that coffee machine back. And we can't let this door stop us. We can't let this door stop us, Midge. Pylon, there's no reason anything would be behind that door. Why don't we check to see if the coffee shop baristas know anything instead, or circle the perimeter of the complex outside? Good ideas, partner, but this is no normal door. Logically, the bigger the door, the bigger the clue behind it. That's not how logic works. Behind this door is the boss clue, Midge. I can smell it. Time to show us your skills. What? Hop to it, Midge. This is your lockpicking moment of truth. <sighs> Fine. Whoa, cool. Do you always carry those? Yeah, I use them for, uh... Animating. Brr. This must be the villain's lair. We're close, Midge. It's just a walk-in fridge, okay? Happy? Can we go? But who needs a fridge in the middle of an office complex? A thief tried to make the trail go cold, that's who. Pylon, no. It's just a storage fridge for the coffee shop down the hall. They make do with what they have in old buildings like this. Sure, but that door was ancient. I wonder what they used this room for a hundred years ago. Probably the same thing they're using it for now. Storing butter. Can we go? Storing butter, yes. And evidence. Look, Midge, more footprints. Oh, damn it. This thief is really sloppy. The smell of computer is potent over here. Uh. Stronger over here. Stronger still. And closing in on it. Voila. One missing computer found. And what's this? A castle made of butter? This makes no sense at all. Okay, look. 
Maybe they ducked in here to hide from overnight restocking people, but they didn't realize the people were actually restocking this bridge. So the thief hid and then got locked inside and there was no way to access the locking mechanism because this door was built 150 years ago. So they just sat here carving butter castles all night until the morning shift came to fetch milk and then she snuck out again, okay? Wow, that's some god tier level deduction there, Midge. Very, very skilled work. Although undoubtedly incorrect. What? No, I believe we're dealing with a true mastermind here. Our thief wanted us to find this. Uh-huh. This butter castle. This is a calling card. Our thief is toying with us, Midge. Are we worthy adversaries? They could be watching us right now. They could be anywhere, anyone. But this game goes both ways. We too were missing something. There was a nemesis-shaped hole within our hearts. A good detective is defied by their nemesis, and ours is the Butter Castle Bandit. Oh, okay. Well, let's get this back to the office. That's it, we stop here? Afraid so. This was the end of their test. The ball's in Butter Castle's court. They're not done with us, partner. In the meantime, one computer safely recovered. Whoa! From this moment onward, we deny any knowledge of this case. Got it. I'm afraid there's only one thing that can tempt him out of there. Oh? What's that? Someone needs to give their computer to Kevin. That's what started this. Well, you can forget about mine. I've got all the employee files on it. Yeah, no. I finally got my drawing tablet drivers behaving. I'm not touching it now. What? No way. What was the secret? It was easy. You just have hey. to... Hey! Focus! We've just got to get Kevin to stay still for a second so we can get that machine. Yeah, I'm with you, Francine. We lure him in and then unplug the coffee machine. Right. No machine, no coffee. No coffee, no multiple teleporting Kevins. I'm down with this plan. Whoa, hey, hey, what's going on here, guys? Kevin started drinking coffee. Oh, I knew this day would come. How bad is it? Bad, dude. Bad. We need a computer as bait to lure him out. Uh, any computer? Mm, yeah, so long as it's hooked up to our network. Why not use Jeb's? He doesn't even know how to turn it on. Oh, Kevin. Come on out. We have a computer for you. Kevin, come do your work. It'll be just like a normal day for you. It's not working. Of course it's not working. Ralph, too, the other Kevins and I have transcended the need for computing. They are such slow, fickle machines. Are you wearing the coffee machine? I've gone wireless. We are on the cusp of godhood now. We shall merge with Ralph too and become one with the flow of the universe. Such unlimited power. I thought you were working on some unified theory of 10 out of 10 game design or something. Oh, we cracked that one minutes ago. I call it the Kevin effect. We're all about godhood now. Well, don't just stand there. Tell us about this special 10 out of 10 algorithm. Well, I guess I can do it now. Should only take a moment to implement. Hmm, I've got to remember how to use one of these computer things. Been so long, I'm a bit rusty. Quick, get him! I got him! Rah! Bueno, y en este mismo juego lo vamos a dejar. Así que, como la despedida, prácticamente. Chao, y nos vemos hasta la próxima.